What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Up Dose, baby. Hashtag Farm Up Dose. Today, we've got 11 PC mods in testing. We've got 10 console mods in testing. It's Fact Sheet Friday. Lawfold's Farm is coming back to FS19. Mappers Paradise show off the MM Millennia Farmer map silos. Plus, Customonic present their John Deere air cart. Let's check it out. In test A4 PC, we have Cowshed, CSZ Equipment Pack, John Deere 6M Large Frame, Cornell, Lizard SO432, Lizard Spider, Manure Cell Point, Mazovian Lowland, Mini Brood, Pack Lizard Modulo, and Silo Facility. In test A4 console today, we have the CSZ Equipment Pack, Flatbed Trailer, Front Sign Lights, FSNT 12000, Fuel Storage, John Deere 6X20 Series, Man TGX Tanker Truck, Montana, Spanish Shed, and Slide. Flurry shaft package. With all that being said, we still have 180 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five work days. First up today, we get a look at the new fact sheets for the Gvernland Vicon DLC, which will be releasing on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Mac, and Google Stadia on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020, and can be purchased for $14.99 USD. First, we have the Vicon Index 1304 Pro Wind Rower. This can be found at Wind Rowers, will cost you $52,500. You're going to need at least 110 horsepower to power it, has a working width of 12.5 meters, and will have a working speed of 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. Secondly, we have the Vicon Extra 732 FT front mower. This can be found in mowers. will cost you $21,200. You're going to need at least 80 horsepower to power it. The mower has a working width of 3.2 meters and has a max working speed of 13 miles per hour or 22 kilometers per hour. This also pairs well with the Vicon Extra 7100T butterfly mowers and you can change the mower from Vicon to Vernland. And the last fact sheet, the Vicon Extra 7100T that we just spoke about. Rear butterfly mowers. They can be found in mowers, will cost you $47,400. You're going to need at least 200 horsepower to power these. Bring a total power requirement to run these and the front mower together to 280 horsepower. The 7100T has a working width of 10.2 meters and a max working speed of 13 miles per hour or 22 kilometers per hour. This pairs perfectly with the extra 732 FT front mower, and you can change the mower design from Vicon to Kvernland. If you are on PC or Mac and would like to pre-order the DLC, I will have a link in the description below that goes to help support the channel and costs you nothing extra. Proceeds from that link will be going to the DLC giveaway, which will start in two weeks. If you're on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One and have the season pass, you will receive the DLC for free the day it is released, which again is Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. I go into further detail on these fact sheets in the dedicated fact sheet video from earlier today. I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. Today we get some of the first looks at CM Mod's next map for Farming Simulator 19, Lawfold's Farm. This was the first map that I played on with Seasons on Xbox way, way back when on FS17 is officially being brought back. We get to see the main yard in day and night with the surrounding scenery. We also get to see the PDA with paved roads in white and dirt roads in red. This was a very, very successful map in Farm Sim 17, and I don't see it being any different in 19. Just like music, good maps never die. Mappers Paradise posted a few pics from the farm silos on the Millennial Farmer map at night with snow all around the ground with the title, It's Very Dangerous Up Here, You Know. Next time, I'm putting on a harness. I know lots of you are excited to see this map, and Mappers Paradise are working hard to get it finished up. And lastly, today, Custom Modding shows off the progress of their John Deere C850 air cart, which is being made for all platforms. This cart is fully functional, and they're waiting to finish up the John Deere 1870 air hoe drill for the official release for both of these mods together. The air cart features new Firestar and Radio all traction tires, same ones offered by John Deere on the real model, and it's very likely that these will be rebranded for consoles. The cart also offers functional hoses, lights, animations, and tank covers. They will also be modeling the new Camso tracks to be an optional wheel choice. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything we talked about today will be in the description below. There are no release dates for any mods, just official DLCs released by Giants themselves. If I didn't talk about something that you're curious about, that just simply means there's no new information at this time. So stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world a farming simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. Don't forget, I'm going to be gone this weekend. We will still have videos coming out on Saturday and Sunday, so don't worry. I got you covered. They're already uploaded. But that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!
If you don't know who this shirt's for by now, I don't know what to tell you. 